Charlotte Channing from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And I am back with the weekly sketch from Scrap a Sketch number 111. And, um, super cute sketch. I don't have pictures, um, today to go on it because I'm going to use this as an Easter layout. And, of course, Easter hasn't happened yet. But it's coming soon. <laughs> so, um, I have used mini paper pads and I pulled one from here I pulled one from here that was this one and I am using the printables from scrapasketch.com and um, Lisa has designed all of these awesome printables this one is an Easter themed one and of course there's um, this one's the happy spring collection and then these are from the same collections. They're just, um, I, of course, cut stuff out of them. But they're super cute collections. I was really excited about those. I love the colors. And um, she does such a great job. They're super, super cheap. So you should, I mean, totally go over there and try them out. Um... And this, I've already cut everything out. This is all of my stuff I fussy cut from her printables collection. I just freehanded this from the mini paper pad. And these are going to be my photo mats. So, I thought I would, I, of course, I'll have the sketch up on the screen so that y'all can see. Um... But I thought I would just do a little bit of mixed media. I'm going to use salvage patina, distress oxide. I'm just going to use the packaging technique. So I have some packaging here from my Amazon package. And I'm just going to rub it on there. And add just a little bit of water. I like how it kind of pulled the, I guess, the pattern off of this, or maybe the glue or something that was on there. Um, I like how that looks, like it almost gives a rain splatter look. Got a kitty cat hair. All right, so that's going to be that. I'm just using regular um, white cardstock, and this one is from Joann's, so it's not as good as I feel like the Walmart. It's not as thick, but it'll be okay, because once it dries, I can always flip it over and barely miss the back, and then um, lay it on something heavy, lay something heavy on it to dry. Um, I'm also going to use this gold uh, shimmer pen. This is by Close to My Heart. And just do a little bit of splatters around before I get too, too far in. That way I don't get splatters on everything else. And if you shake it like this, you'll get bigger dots. And if you tap it like this, you'll get a fine dot. And I don't know if that shows up on camera or not, but... I love this gold one. It was out of stock for so long, and they finally got it. And I ordered a bunch. I'm still waiting on my last close to my heart order. Well, 
I'll probably make one more for April. But I'm really sad that lots of it's going away. But lots of the things I use are close to my heart and I love their products. And I'm really sad. Okay. So Let me pull up my picture so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I laid everything out so I know which way to turn it. I totally freehanded this, and it is from a 6x8, so it's more of an oval versus a circle, um, which is okay because most of it's going to be hidden. You can see where I, <laughs> I drew on the back. Um, trying to sketch it out in a rough circle. And then I cut it in half because I was thinking about trying to split it up. But then I decided I didn't like that either. So, um, we're back to just using it together. <laughs> and I'll probably have to add a little bit more glue. All right. So, there's that much done. And then, um, let's see. I'm going to add my heart. I'm telling you, once I pull out the mini paper pads and start using them, I love it. I can make all kinds of things with a very minimal amount of paper. And then I'm just going to add my photo mats here. And I'll cut these at four and a half by three and a half. That way I can just use a three by four photo. And this is a little bit different than the way Lisa set up the sketch, but. Um, I tend to take more horizontal photos than I do vertical. So, uh, I still kept the two photos. I just wanted to make them horizontal. Okay, so then pretty much I did um, ink. I didn't say that, but I did ink everything except for the edges of this paper. Um, with my gathered twigs... Um, cause that's what's on my table and y'all know I'm lazy and it was already out. So that's what's getting used. And it is one of my favorite browns other than the ground espresso. Okay. So I think I am going to, I'm going to pop up a lot of these with some foam tape just to give it a little bit of dimension. I'm going to put this one right here. Well, in my photo, it was over more, which it's a little late for that now, so we'll put it there. I pretty much am going to just um, arrange the flowers in and around um, the circle on the outsides of the circle. So we'll just play with it for a minute. Um... Some of these I'm going to glue and some of them I'll just foam tape them just to give them some dimension. I'm trying to use up all the big clusters first. I love the fact that she actually added in a lot of um, florals this time. I have been asking for it every time. Um, I ask for florals in different sizes. I would like to have just a whole page um, for each collection, but that's just me because to know me is to know that I use flowers on everything. <laughs> so I like having the option of being able to um, just print out um, just flowers to use because I can always use flowers, always. There's always a use. 
All right, so I think that's it on that. Those. Maybe I should use that up here. <laughs> Let's just do this. Let's put it up here. And then that way we can just fill in with all these single flowers. Yeah, I like that better. That way I don't have as many uh, gaps also. Trying to mix and match my colors a little bit. Okay. So then I still have all of these flowers. Let's see. And I think I will do probably half of them on foam. Just to add a little dimension here and there. And then the other ones we'll just glue on. Okay. Are you guys getting excited for Easter? I cannot believe that it's already almost here. I don't like it when they do it in March. It's just, it's still cold. I want it warm when I'm out hunting my eggs. <laughs> Let's see. I'm just going to build in on some of this. Let's see. Build in up here. I don't want it to get wonky and off-centered from the circle. Okay. And I totally didn't have to use all of these flowers, but y'all know me. I like using flowers. So... I think I'm going to put that one right there. Okay, so then we just have all these little leaves, and I'm just going to tuck them in here and there, just to help fill it up. Okay, there's that part. And then um, I have this little rainbow I wanted to use, and then the Happy Easter. And I think I'm going to put it here. I'll probably just glue this part in. And then the rainbow I will pop up. So over at Scrap a Sketch Facebook group, um, there is literally hundreds of sketches on there for free. So if you haven't checked it out, go over there and do so. I'll post the link below to join the group. Um, a new sketch is released every week. And then... She also has the um, Scrap a Sketch um, premium site, website, and it is, let's see, how do I want to do this? I know that I want to use it. Maybe like that? Hmm, I don't know. I'll think on it for a minute. But, anyways, um... 
squirrel and I forgot what I was saying. I squirreled myself. Um, she has the Scrap a Sketch website and you can go over there and get, she has a premium sketch membership and she also has printables, stencils, printables, stencils, and the sketch, premium sketches. It, they are paid. And I was trying to think of what else I was trying to tell y'all. <laughs> My brain went on a trip and it didn't come back. Um, but super cute stuff over there on the website. Um, if you use Shannon 10 in all caps, you can get 10% off printables and stencils. It is not good on the sketch membership, but you can try out the printables and stencils. And like I said, they are super, super cheap, um, literally pennies on the dollar, and you can print them out as many times as you want. Um, she has lots of different collections over there. I've been having so much fun playing with stuff. Alright, so let's go over there and check it out. Alright, so if my brain can function. <laughs> Sorry, I needed a drink. Okay, I have my jar of buttons. Let's see. I think I'm going to use some of them to put down for the centers. And I am going to use my tacky glue so that it holds. I like to use it for heavy stuff. Um, my label's missing, but this is just a, the Aline's tacky glue. And I buy mine at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. And it's really expensive at Walmart, but at the Dollar mm -hmm. Tree, it's still $1.25. <laughs> So, um, it's definitely worth going and picking up a bottle or two. Let's see what other colors I can do here. That, that one's probably too big. Let's see. I got a different purple. Um, it was all over that different one. I don't know. They all look a little wonky and that was a brand new pack. Um, could do one there. Y'all know me. I like adding dimension to stuff. And I also love love buttons very much. Um, I don't want to do that. Well, let's just do this. There's that one. And then, let's see. This is just antique buttons. Some of them's not all antique. I've dumped some of them in um, that people's gave me. But a lot of these were buttons from my great-grandma's collection. She was very big into sewing. And... I got to inherit her button collection that was going to be thrown away whenever she passed. So I like being able to put them to use. I think that's going to be good. I'm not going to do them all. Um, I think I'll draw a line around the page, though. And I'm sorry about my light flickering. It's doing crazy stuff. Okay, I'm just going to take my regular pen, and I'm just going to draw um, some lines around it as a frame, kind of. And they don't got to be straight. Um, I actually like them not straight. And then I just go around a few times. 
Now that I have my new sewing machine, I should break it out more and stitch around it. Uh-oh, I touched it and got it smeared. Have to be careful. This would look really pretty stitched with the gold zigzag pattern that I've been using for everything because I love it and it's my it's my favorite one right now. <laughs> Until I move on to the next thing. And I will post completed um, close-ups at the end, but I will add pictures. And I don't know if it'll go in this monthly share or not with pictures because when this is posting, it's just two days away from Easter. So I know I probably won't have pictures back um, yet. Um, or I mean, my monthly layout share will be on Easter this year. So I know I won't have pictures back. So I will try to remember to add this one to my lineup for next month um, to show you guys what it looks like with pictures added and all of that. Um, I don't know if you can see the, the shimmer brush, the gold shimmers. Let's see. You can see it flicker a little bit in the lot. It's hard to, whoops, sorry. It's hard to see the, um, the mixed media I did on there, but it's on there. Um, hopefully it'll show up in the close-ups. So, thank you guys for hanging out, and check out all those links below, and until next time, bye y'all.